Yo, what is going on people? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a PBO project. It's very easy, very simple. Basically what it is, it's like add-on builder, but a different version. So this might have a few more things that add-on builder doesn't have, you know, and it tells you errors instead of add-on builder just packing it and not telling you errors and just giving you a simple line which no one actually knows what the meaning is so then you've got to go on the internet search up have fun searching it up if you can actually find what the error is and then this is epic it's just epic PBR project so the first thing that you need to do is leave a subscription join my discord leave a like and if you are stuck leave a comment or you can join my Discord, that's if you've got errors or anything like that. But the first thing that I do want you to do is I want you to head over to this website. Obviously, there'll be a link in the description. And I want you to download some of these things down below. Now, the first thing that I want you to download is D or GG, DPBO, DRAP, DROAD, Eliteness, Extract PBO, Make PBO, PBO Project, and Rapify. Now, you literally just click download, double click on something that pops up here if you're using Google Chrome, click run, and then you're sorted on that one. Now, if you go to your folder, go to your C drive, this is where it normally appears, program files, and Makiro, DPBO tools and bin. In here, it actually has all your PBO stuff that you've downloaded and extra, like um, your bats and all that lot. As you can see, I've got roads. This is what sorts out your roads in DayZ so they're not binarized. And um, you've also got your scripts folder. This is for Armour 3, where if you put this basically in, you can load your roads. And basically, you've got everything here. So, the first thing, obviously, once you've installed them all, I want you to open up PBO Project. Now, you'll appear with something like this, but this may be you know this may be blank so the first thing that i want you to do is i want you to enable noisy output now basically what noisy output is is if you do get some errors of some kind it will actually tell you if you've just got this off it might say three errors or something like that i'm not too sure but you definitely should enable noisy output that if you do get some errors you can actually find out what they are now i also want you to enable full build and I want you to go to view outputs and say if you were to get some errors, as you can see, I got an error in um, one of my recent packs with this. It comes up in here as a folder. So if you've ever got this closed or you ever need to redo an error, say if you close this, you can't get that back unless you go into your packing log. And here you can see what errors you may have got and then you can fix them. Now, what I want you to do is this is your source folder. So whatever you're packing, let's say you're packing a map like me. You click on the map and Bella, but you must make sure that you've got your P drive obviously open. So the way you need to do that is you literally just go Steam, Daisy Tools, Tools, and Mount P drive. Now everything that you pack must be in your P drive. Uh, sometimes things say you need to put this in your P drive, so just do everything in your P drive. It's simple, and then your output folder can just be a random folder. Make it at something add-ons and then you just select it now what I want you to do is you need to jump into your settings set up here so in the engine the default is armor 3 so I want you to put daisy SA in the exclude from PBO I will have a paste bin down below with all these what you need if you don't have these then your map won't pack now here you can actually change the text editor so you know that thing where we put view output and then it pops up with a notepad you can change that if you want. You can create your own keys with this, but I'd just prefer to use a DLC users in um, add-on builder, add-on tools, sorry. And that's just a lot better. And then what I want you to do is down here, you'll have a few of these ticked. I want you to untick them because sometimes it comes up with non-necessary, let's say errors, and it won't allow your map to PBO if you've got these enabled. But if you've got these disabled, then it'll allow you to ignore errors basically warnings are errors so if it says oh you've got a warning here it won't pack your map but if you've got it unticked it will pack your map and then you've got no problems then once you've got all that set up make sure it's on sp and all that you have to do 
is click crunch and it'll come up here and then once it's done it should say jobs completed and then some other stuff after after thanks for watching this is a bit of a fast tutorial doesn't matter very easy very simple please leave a subscription if this did help you leave a comment if you are stuck join my discord follow me on twitter i'll see you guys next time adios amigos